I would say from the ages of four to 15, um, those years were the most unbearable, horrendous years of my life. I have a lot of blocked out memories. I can't remember some of what happened during those years. My mother was a school teacher and my dad worked on the docks for a freightway system. And he had a lot of inner pain. He was very, um, he was very angry and he had a problem with alcoholism. He spent all of his time um, in the taverns and rarely at home. And when he was at home, he was very angry. He was very abusive emotionally and verbally in other ways as well, without mentioning. I remember being afraid all the time. I was always afraid of when he was gonna come home. And when he was home, I was always bracing myself for some kind of blow up in some way. I had always been involved in a church. Um, my mom had always had me in church, but it didn't really mean anything to me. There was something inside that really had a problem with what had all happened to me. You know, the way I grew up, I just had a really hard time um, accepting you know, God and His love. I was very angry at the idea of a God who wasn't there for me, who, who didn't come through, who didn't um, protect me from all the horrible things that happened. And I didn't know I was angry until I started searching in different faiths. I um, tried to follow Buddhism for a while and, and go into some Eastern religious beliefs. And I remember thinking as I continued through those studies, why is it that every time I visit a different religion, I still don't feel different? It doesn't change my heart. It doesn't make me feel good. Everywhere I was searching was ending up empty. I remember the first time that I saw, you know, the verse in the Bible that says, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but through me. And I remember thinking, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And I thought, well, if Christianity is supposedly going to offer me truth and it's going to offer me life, then why don't I just try this one? When I chose to look in that direction again, God really met me. And I noticed things started to change. I knew that my heart was full of pain and, and the pain was because of my unresolved issues. It was because of my unforgiveness. And the unforgiveness sat inside me like an infection. And as the unforgiveness gradually left, the healing came in and my life really changed, my heart changed. Over these years, every single time I was faced with what to do with a painful memory, the Lord would give me the grace to receive His love and He would give me the compassion, you know, and, and the revelation to understand that, that, you know, my dad did what he did, not because it had anything to do with me. In reality, it was because he was in so much pain himself. Okay. And it's just, it's shocking to see that, this, that he's come from such a place. And for me, I'm more shocked at myself. I'm more shocked at the fact that, that I'm able to feel love for a person who was so abusive. I had so much anger for so many years that I hated him. I used to just wish his death and literally wish that he was dead. And now after the, you know, the healing process that I've come through, the hatred has literally been removed out of my heart and that I don't hate him, but that I love him and that I can call him my father. And I know that if God can do the impossible in this situation, there's nothing he can't do. My name's Lucinda and I've been ransomed from a life of unforgiveness.